on sea monsters. Very cool. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. So you consider yourself to be a friend of Katie's? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. You mean, if she'd just accept your offer? I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition, which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers, as many as she can safely fit. What do you think should be done with the orca out there? Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Perfect.
I smart or what? Looks right. Yes. Good. That should do it. I have to bring him a male Dungeness crab? for rock skipping. <laughs> 
SS. Maybe this broke off from a ship. There's something in that bottle, but it's stuck on those rocks. You again? I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free. I'll take care of the crab for you. I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow the instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. What's up? Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. I talked to Jenna Deblin when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Do you two not like each other or something? She doesn't like me, that's for sure. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time. But if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Time Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone? Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well then what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well then it came from a ship. Or should I say shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? Plywood? You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. Oh, I don't 
don't know if this book is for me, but maybe if I give Dr. Predovicu a call, she can help me out. This is Dr. Predovicu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. Oops, I better go do that. I'll call you right back. One slice of wood. One glass slide. There, this is going to look so cool under the microscope. Let's have a look. Predovicu speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. I've got the sample all ready. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before. About the driftwood? Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. 